Well, businesses are enforcing new rules as they begin to reopen as they work through this new normal. Some store owners receive calls from the state about complaints filed against them. As CBS 4's Melissa Crash reports for one local business, it made them stop and reevaluate. The Belleville Farm Market is doing the best they can and they want customers to understand that, even creating this sign as customers walk in. It does make you go through the thought process, am I doing the right thing? For 70 years, Randy Franklin and his family have owned this market off of US 40. A sign like this one limiting customers inside is new for them. The first time I stopped, read all the sign and I felt comfortable. It's busy season at their market and Franklin says his family is doing what they can to keep customers safe. People wearing masks and things and you know, I, do, I don't want to infringe on people's choices also at the same time, but I do make sure that they know this is our rules. On Monday, he received a call that someone who visited believes they need to do more. The Board of Health called us, said we weren't doing the social distancing the way we should be. And they asked us, just asked us what we were doing to combat that. The state reported last week there are more than 1,200 complaints being investigated, like this one. 115 verbal warnings have been given with no cease and desist letters. There is a series of things they need to do. Joe Hearings, the general counsel to the governor, stated during Monday's briefing that businesses have to adopt a plan before May 11th. This plan needs to be posted and made available to the public, but it is also supposed to be provided to the employees of the employer. If you still feel uncomfortable at a business, you can file a complaint through IOSHA online. For Franklin, he wants his customers to know. Everybody's doing their best, you know, and, and small business is definitely the backbone. Once we make it through this, I think everybody's going to be stronger. For a link to IOSHA, head on over to our website. For now, reporting in Hendricks County, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News. The city of Car